Welcome everyone, I'm Jason and this is my 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan and in this part of the series of improving the overall looks and now sound of the Tiguan I'm going to be replacing the factory speakers in this car with some Focal inside speakers and uh, that is the line uh, that Focal has made that are a direct drop-in replacement for a factory so this will require no special modification other than undoing some rivets and these are dropped right in and replace the factory speakers with a huge upgrade. So down in the description below, I'll actually put these components. And I picked them up from Crutchfield from a very good price. Um, but in the doors, it's going to be a two-way setup. So it's going to be a separate, almost seven-inch speaker. It's bigger than a six and a half. And a separate tweet. And it comes with all the necessary components and wiring to do that. And in the back doors, instead of just having a, a one, like, speaker that's like a i call them a wizard speakers this is actually going to be a two-way you know separate wolf or and tweeter all in one like a coaxial basically <laughs> a two-way coaxial and uh, this should dramatically improve the factory sound of this of the stereo system and the future in the of the build of the series of this we're actually going to do running power wire installing an aftermarket amp grabbing the signal and putting a powered sub um in the in the floor of the back of the tiguan so that is coming up in the future build. So stay tuned. I'm going to do a little bit of walkthrough on popping the doors off and, um, you know, replacing the speakers. Just a quick tutorial of that and um, my impressions of the overall sound. And while I have the doors off, I do have a little bit of sound dampening material left over. I am going to, you know, push some of that in in some of the areas. I'm not doing a sound build here, so but every little bit is going to help. So um, I'll show you some of that in the video also. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. And thanks. And hit that like and subscribe button right now while you're... While you're here, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, you won't need very much to take these door panels off. There's a screw right here. There's some screws behind this handle. Um, do you need a 10 millimeter wrench? There's like a turn plastic indexing oval head weird screw down here. You just index that straight up and down. And then we'll just use your standard pry tool and uh, to keep from scratching up the paint off. That kind of stuff that's in the door and then pry tool those off. So, uh, real simple, just get your Torx bit down the side here. This is the T30 Torx, and you can have this, you know, on a fell into the pocket. That's a good place to keep it. Um, on this little plastic part of the handle right here, there is like a, I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver. There's a little piece you can push in and pop and then once you have that I'd recommend having some plastic uh, fry tools pull this handle right off and put it in there too looks like it's the same torque spit up here it is only one put it in there uh, the rest is like I said it's just gonna be a standard uh, popping those panels out and lifting this up and then there's just a couple connects you know for your lights and your power some quick disconnect things uh, pretty much standard for taking a door off I don't need to go into detail on that um, if you're tackling this project you probably understand that okay so with the door panel popped these are all just pop holes these things it's that weird indexing thing that you turn um, it had one connect we just basically pinch one side and pull it out and then one Molex connector, that's where you take a little thing as you're rotating it, it's ejecting it out. Um, that was it, besides the door handle, and this, these just pop out. Um, taking these speakers out, they're riveted in. This is my favorite tool to use, these step tools. These are at all those cheap Harbor Freight stores, you know, discount tool stores. And I just hit right in the middle of the rivet. And then it brings the whole entire rivet head right off and you know, it'll be hot. And that way you're just left with the rivet. Once you get them all, you know, it comes undone easily. All right, so um, I just got the factory speaker out. So this is the factory. This is an oversized. This is like almost a seven inch. And I do have the base stereo in the Tiguan. I don't have the fender or anything like that. So these are the new um, uh, Focal speakers and as you can see, it is the proper basket to match the factory. That's why they're the drop-in. Um, it's more surface area. It's a deeper cone. Um, you know, this factory speaker is nice, beautiful rubber surround. And it's definitely of a higher quality than the past. And these do sound okay. But you can just tell, you know, the, the difference between them here. Now, 
when we go around to the back we can really look at the components here and see you know the fact even the focals come with the or focal whatever you want to call them the the, the foam um and these will be a direct plug in to the factory plug um but if you needed to you could go into here um uh, these are for them and these are for them uh it doesn't say the wattage on these but you know these up handle up to 180 and uh and i believe if if I'm correct, this would be, you know, I'm not sure. Theoretically, that would be a low pass or high pass. No, I bet you this is to keep the upper frequencies out of this is what I'm guessing. Um, so that these aren't playing really high. Because it would have to be a lot more a bigger to be a like a high pass, you know, down low. So... That's probably what that is. So anyways, let, I'll, I'll get these installed and show you what they look like. All right, so with the door panel off, this is the tweeter. I just used my uh, Dremel, a little tiny little cutoff wheel, and there's only three tabs that hold it on. And um, it was just choom, choom, and this one just broke with, with those t off. It just pops right off. Uh, the only thing we need to pay attention to is the orientation of positive and negative. Um, the positive side is the side that has, I'm sorry, the positive side is the side that has all this resistor in it, the crossover, and uh, so it'd be where this side connects in, not this side. So you just have to pay attention to that on the door when you're um, crimping these together. Now with the wire going, uh, you can also tell the positive side of this, um, the the wire with the black stripe is the negative and it goes straight through right here. So you have a little crossover high pass here. And then that's where you need to pay attention where you use the butt connectors. All right. Now so you'll once see you the, the tweeter out how I showed you cutting it out. Let me just I'll show you what I decided to do. So this is, this comes with the focal and this is supposed to snap. This is supposed to snap into this. So you could surface mount this on here somehow. Um, hot glue, silicone, whatever you want. But what my feeling is that that puts the tweeter really sunk in um, almost three quarters of an inch away from being flush up against the screen. So what I decided to do was take my, I guess they call them um, cutter dikes, and just cut a notch, take this trim ring and discard it. And then what I'm planning on doing here with this tweeter is putting these two notches in there like that and then pressing that down in there and it actually will push all the way down uh, and flush and it actually holds in really tight and then I think I'm going to just drop a little dab of uh, silicone um, and let it dry in there and uh, that way that puts that tweeter almost up against but as you can see it obviously doesn't move so you just want to make sure after you cut all this, cut all this and no debris in here. Once you put that tweeter in there, you might see it from the other side if the sun shines in there. So that's that trick with the tweeter. And now with that tweeter all glued down in there, this just the foam holds all these wires from being able to vibrate around. And you know, from the front side, you know, obviously there won't be any light shining through, but you kind of see the tweeter in there. It's very flush almost up against that. Screen. Okay, now that you've seen the tweeters done in the doors, uh, I did, it, this did come with rivets after drilling out the factory rivets. I reused rivets. Um, it's pretty nice. It, they're very, very secure. And then, like I said, that just plugs in factory right to the new speaker. And I probably did go overboard when I said I wasn't going to. But there was really only opportunity to put a little tiny piece in here and up here of Dynamet inside the door, like on the outer skin. So I decided to just go ahead and go heavy in here. Um, but you know, what, what can I say? And reverse order, just, you know, as you put the door panel up, you got to hook up the door handle pull and the, this is like everything wires on this door. Um, and then that's pretty much straightforward. Hammer it on and then turn this and that door panel's back on. I'll film it, but it's kind of boring and obvious. You, one thing that was different on the passenger side. So the tweeter is actually just part of the door you know i still dremeled it out and push that in there and then but 
it needs to have a serviceable connector put on it. So this is the factory tweeter hookup and the focal kit came with some extra cords like this um, and ends. Um, the tweeter and the driver's side door is different because the wiring harness for it plugs, you plug the tweeter in as you are putting the door panel on. So this side, um, it's all part of another harness. This side just has a tweeter all by itself. So that's the difference. So I was able to just, I don't even have to cut the factory one on this side. Working on the back doors of the Tiguan, uh, pretty standard, uh, you know, the same turn piece and the pop holes. Um, and then I added a layer of the uh, second skin. I really wanted to go over that big uh, membrane that was right here, which was just hollow sounding. Um, basically a wire connects for most likely the windows and that's about it, power locks. And then this goes directly to the speaker. Now is the new Focal two-way. As you can see, it's a nice and beefy. Um, here's the stock one. Um, which is like the little wizard cone. I mean, this thing wouldn't weigh anything. So, uh, pretty standard and drop in. Here's the new focal coaxial, and it's riveted in. It came with the rivets. And then, as you can see, I put some of the second skin sound deadening material on the door. I really focused on this big membrane that was right here, and I put a couple pieces in inside the door on the, the on the outer skin. Only a couple. I couldn't fit too many. So uh, there's only one, besides plugging in the factory to the speaker, there's one wire and your handle to open the door. So it's pretty straightforward once, you know, if you're, when you're putting the sound ending on, you want to make sure you don't cover up that torque screw that's here and up here that hold the uh, car together. Um, that's the top of the door handle that's in that kind of crevice hole. So back doors are pretty simple. Uh, should be a huge upgrade in sound, having that nicer... Uh, Wolfer in there and tweeter. All right, all the speakers are installed, all four doors, all focal, all drop in, barely any wire cutting at all. And it came with these little pretty badges, focal inside. I thought I'd put it on the door for fun. System sounds amazing. Uh, modern wrap, uh, Thompson twins, vintage 80s. Uh, the tweeters are high, um, they're soft. Um, the bass is way more than factory. I think a lot of that has to do with the sound dampening and just much better speakers. Um, of course, you know, they could be powered and that would be really easy to power those um, by, I have to tap into the factory harness anyways to grab the signal for the sub amp coming up on a future install. So at the same time, I could buy an additional amp to power maybe just the front doors to really make it, you know, nothing, Nothing is better than overpowering your speakers, uh, well, a reasonable amount of overpower. That way they just sound crystal clear, lots of dynamic headroom is what you want. Um, very simple to do. I No tabs got broken. It is a new vehicle. You know, I expected that. Um, it's making the door handles rattle, you know, uh, the front doors. Um, you can hear the air moving around through the door handles, so it's just pretty powerful. Unfortunately, you know, YouTube can't play any of the music, but... Uh, another build done, stereo upgrade, and the, running the power wire, hooking up subs, put an amp, maybe underneath the seat, custom sub box in the trunk, stealth, you know, all that good stuff coming up in future builds. So make sure now you hit that subscribe button and that like button. And hopefully this video is not too long. And I really appreciate you watching it this much. And uh, uh, check back. And if you're ever anywhere near, uh, you know, me and you want to, we do a meetup, glad to demo the system. So everybody have a good one. Bye.